There are other marks, and we're going to talk about the next mark is salt, oil, and gas. In the universal model, salt, oil, and gas are actually differentiated as different marks because oil and gas kind of have their own place and salt has its own place. But they're often found together. In fact, in the early days of oil exploration, they would actually seek out salt domes or salt deposits, knowing that the oil would be accumulated on the edge or the margins of the salt domes. The salt that is formed is, is a biogenic process. The salt mark of the flood, a good question might be is, why is salt a mark of Noah's flood? And that is a pretty good question. In the book that we published, the water book here, we actually have a section on salt that explains how salt is formed. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ actually says that it is given to you to become the salt of the earth. That's a little variation from the one in the King James Version, but in Joseph Smith's translation, it is given to you to become the salt of the earth is an invitation. Understanding the salt making process that happens inside our bodies and all animal bodies, we can grasp the concept that salt is a living biogenic process. During the flood, that process was prolific everywhere in massive amounts. Now the mystery is that all the salt in the ocean, according to the geologists, USGS for example, all the salt in the ocean came when salt was washed out of the mountains into the ocean. But if we took the whole valleys and all the mountains of the earth, all the continents, and we flattened them out so that they would be flat with no valleys and no mountains, everything's the same level, we'd be about 400 feet above sea level. According to the USGS, if you took all the salt out of the ocean, and put it on land, it would create a layer 500 feet thick. Now we can tell how much salt is in the ocean. We can get a five gallon bucket, we can evaporate it out, and whatever's left is the amount of salt. Then we can simply do some math to determine how many of those five gallon buckets are in the ocean to determine about how much salt we have. So it's not an exact thing, but about 500 feet of salt is on top of about 400 feet of land as the way that modern science explains how much salt there is, they simply have no idea where it came from.